your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather jordan are you ready for the weekend i am ready for the weekend in that i have to figure out what i'm going to do because typically my summer plans during the weekend are very well thought out in that i get up i eat breakfast i go to the pool i go home um and they're thought out in that i do them every single weekend but Spoiler alert, doesn't look like I'm doing that this weekend. Are you ready for the weekend? I am, but it sounds to me like, are you trying to find something different to do? Yes, I need okay. something that might involve something other than the pool. Well, that's fun. I know. That's a, that's typical of a good summer. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Y yeah, but I like to spend time by the pool. I like to work on my tan, and I don't think <laughs> I'm going to be doing it this weekend. And yes, I care very deeply about my tan. We saw a little bit of rain this afternoon. Otherwise, there was plenty of time to work on your tan on this Thursday. Then the clouds moved in through the later part of the afternoon, early into the evening. Some of us actually managed to pick up on a little bit of rain. We are much quieter this evening. Uh, most of us ended up staying dry, and a lot of you were sure to tell me that you ended up staying dry. And I was sure to tell a lot of you that told me that you were dry that that's okay because there is a better opportunity for more widespread rain in the forecast. By the time we get to Friday morning, we're talking about a cold front, cold front back off to our northwest. That cold front is going to drop to the south, bringing the opportunity for some showers and thunderstorms to north Alabama, southern middle Tennessee. Not right away, though. Maybe an increase in cloud cover for the Friday morning commute. Otherwise, it does look like many of us are going to be dry. Showers and thunderstorms, though, begin to move into our area as we head into the lunch hour. It looks like the greatest coverage there is going to be up across southern middle Tennessee. We're going to maintain that opportunity for scattered showers and thunderstorms through a good chunk of the afternoon, early into the evening, even through the later part of the evening and early into the overnight. We're not going to completely get rid of the opportunity for rain through the overnight and then early into your Saturday morning. Speaking of which, by the time we get to Saturday morning, that boundary that is going to be to our northwest tomorrow morning is going to be just to our south as we head into Saturday morning, but it looks like it's going to move ever so slightly back to the north. That is going to keep a fair amount of moisture across the Tennessee Valley. That is going to allow us to maintain a fairly healthy opportunity for rain, at least through the front half of the weekend, though I'm also confident that there are going to be other scattered showers uh, through the back half of the weekend as well. By the time we get to Sunday night, we're looking at one to three inches of rain across north Alabama, southern middle Tennessee. We've backed off on the numbers a little bit across Giles and Lincoln counties from what I showed you at five. 30, but the picture still remains consistent in that it looks like the highest rainfall totals are going to be up across other uh, middle Tennessee. Good thing too, because most folks in Giles and Lincoln counties are dealing with moderate drought conditions. So was everybody north of the Tennessee River across North Alabama. And then you get to Northwest Alabama where we're actually beginning to see severe drought conditions take over. And then we're still talking about severe drought conditions across Northeast Mississippi. Here's what I got for you as we head into the overnight opportunities for rain. Most of us probably end up staying dry temperatures dropping into the lower 70s. I've got a low at around 73 degrees scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. I've still got temperatures climbing into the lower 90s. I've got a high right around 92 degrees. If we don't really see any sunshine in the morning, we're not going to make it into the lower 90s tomorrow afternoon. Those that see a little sunshine tomorrow morning are going to make it into the lower 90s. If you see more cloud cover tomorrow morning, you're probably only going to end up seeing the uh, mid and upper 80s, 88, 89 degrees, which is exactly where the vast majority of us are going to be through the front half of the weekend. Have a good look at the next seven days. Mid and upper 80s for the back half of the weekend as well, 87 on Monday. Enjoy the 80s while you can because we are back into the lower 90s as we head into the early part of August, 92 on Tuesday, 93 on Wednesday, 92 on Thursday. August 1st is on Monday. That's all I got for you this evening.